key element of design for our dividers is that the spring located on the bottom of the divider keeps tension on this divider latch. Also, when you open it, that spring helps open the divider and holds the divider out of your way when you're loading your horses in the trailer. The Cimarron trailers are standard with a folding rear tack wall and independent rear doors without any center post. This makes the trailer extremely versatile. Now, of course, we can customize this trailer to fit your needs with solid rear tack rooms or solid rear posts if you desire. But our standard is a folding rear tack room, no center post. This folding rear tack room, the part that I really appreciate from an owner, is how easy it is to operate and how versatile it makes the trailer. If I've got a horse that's hard to load or a young one that's loading for the first time, or if I just need to haul the lawnmower or the four-wheeler to town, it's really easy for me to collapse this rear tack and load something else in the trailer. All I have to do is pull this pin and lock it. Pull the one at the bottom, lock it open. This wall folds inside, and then the entire wall folds over to the side and locks up at the top. This creates a large wide opening without a rear post, easy to load those young animals in here. All the saddle racks in the Cimarron trailer are adjustable on the post, so you can slide them up and down and set them to any height you desire. They're also removable. You can transfer them from the rear tack to the front tack room of the trailer. I'd like to show you how to remove these really quick. First thing to do is pull this safety pin out here at the top, then simply lift up on the saddle rack. You're going to take the bottom out first, the top spring loaded part will come out. It's that simple to remove your saddle racks out of your trailer. Now once those saddle racks are removed, the part that I really like is that the ceiling and the floor are clear. There's no bracketry hanging down. As you'll see, there's just a small plate up on the roof bow and down on the floor it's flush with the floor mat. Nothing to stick out or to stick up to injure your horses when that saddle rack is removed. As I mentioned earlier, all of our saddle racks are adjustable on a Cimarron trailer. You can loosen these nuts up with a simple box end wrench and slide this whole assembly up or down so that you can adjust these saddle racks to fit your needs and your saddles. The standard rear door latches on a Cimarron trailer are full height cam latches with independent rear doors, meaning you don't have to have a center post. The independent rear doors allows either door to open independently of the other. You can open the stall door first and close it. Then you can come over and open the rear door and close it. Now the cam locks are full height, so that ties the door in top and bottom, getting you a nice secure fit. The full height aluminum cam locks that we use are all aluminum, from the top of the turret down to the bottom. One of the best things about this cam lock is the nylon fully encased bushing, keeping no metal to metal contact. Makes the cam locks work smoother and it reduces the noise in the trailer. The cargo vice lack holds the handle here. Simply push this in at the bottom, the handle will come up, and rotate the handle 180 degrees to open the door. These vice locks are keyed so that when you close the handle, you can lock this. You don't have to use a padlock on your rear door handles. A user-friendly feature on the Cimarron trailer is where we locate our door hardware. We don't want to locate it down at the bottom where you have to stand on your head to lock a door open. Look at it right here where it's at your height, easy to use. Simply open this door up and lock this trailer back. We want the trailers to be user-friendly for the customers. By doing that, we want to put the latches here on the side for the feed door so you don't have to get up on the running board and reach to the top. The latches here at the side, you can easily reach up here open it and use that to let the door down. Once you have the door open, the door will lock to the side of the trailer. That allows the safety bar grill to be here for the airflow for the horses. Now the feature that I really like about our safety bar grills, several things actually. We have the bars running up and down rather than horizontal. By running the bars vertically, the horses will not grab a hold of them. Our safety bar grills are built in our shop by our craftsmen. We've got the heavy duty design in a tubular shape and flat bar. Our grills are strong. Compare these to the competitions and you'll see a noticeable difference. 